as we see our guest pastor saying what we are supposed to be saying. Sometimes we need to hear such words because when you are saying it, they say something is wrong with your head. Every time you are talking about the kingdom, that God, that Jesus is coming very soon, they say something is wrong with your head. So it is good that our guest pastor mentions that today. I must say this. My brother's wife, this happened in 1994. I was preparing to come to Ireland. We came here anyway in 1998. And my brother's wife said, I will send this message to her so that she will see, you know, it will encourage her to worship God. And she said, you see this passion? You see this, your intimacy with God, your passion? Immediately you cross over to Europe. You will see food, you will see money, you will see everything you want and then you will no longer pray. And I say, me? Not this one, not the way, I mean, I have seen Jesus, not the way Jesus has called me, mine is different. You are going to hear, when I'm in Europe, or when I have, even, even if I'm a millionaire, when I have got everything I want, even the whole world, that is when I will worship God the most. Praise the Lord. I, I, I have proved it. Because to start with, I came to Ireland, you were saying, my sister, in 1998, we were in, in Dublin City, calling people, come to God, we were preaching, and people were pushing us around. We were preaching, doing evangelism. And eventually, people started coming to church. We started setting up one church or the other. So I was among the people planting churches in this island. I spent all my money. I would, I would go and borrow money. People were borrowing money that time, going to buy cars. The night they wanted flashy cars. And they would drive flashy cars to church so that people would know they are doing well. I was using my own, investing in places, planting churches, planting. God is hearing my voice. I am not praising myself. What I'm saying is, let these people that have run away, that have lost their first love, let them come back. There is nothing, even if you gain the whole world and you lose your soul, what, of what profit is it? So many people that we started with, planted churches, told Irish people, told people to come to God, they have all run away. They have gone astray because they got food and they got money and they got houses and then they run away. That time, we were sleeping in the church. Immediately, they get paper. Immediately, they were all coming to the church because they were looking for paper, looking for connection. The Irish people that uh, I brought in, uh, or saw my passion I came, they were targeting the people. Immediately, they get paper, you will not see them anymore. See our church, it's, uh, it's small but mighty. This church is small but mighty, it's a spiritual church. My son is Stanley. It's one of the things God helped me to, to produce. Pastor Stanley is one of the things God helped me to bring up. Yes, we thank God because you know what? What you said this morning is what I would have said. But you know, a prophet is not honored in his country, <laughs> isn't it? So we really thank God, Pastor Macy. We thank God for Pastor Macy and we. I'm praying that as Pastor Macy is going back today, she is going with the blessings in this church. Even though we are small, we are mighty. We are a breeding church. God shows us things, and we are salvation church. So as you are going from this church today, your life will not be the same again in Jesus' name. Amen. As you have come with blessings upon this church, upon coming to, to, to drop words for people who are lukewarm, so almighty God, we bless you richly. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have Amen. prayed. And we pray over the blessings. 
The money in this basket are blessings. What will we use to work for God in Jesus' name? Amen. We are not saying that dressing up or buying house or getting money is bad. After all, God, God enriched all the people that we are worshiping him. If you are worshiping God and you are not rich, you know that it's not God you are worshiping. God made Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the richest people in the world at their time. Even Solomon. So we have to be rich, but when you are rich, don't worship wealth as your God. That's what we are saying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The grace. The, may the, the grace, grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ the, the love, love of God, and, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely his, his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.